can beat the clock yeah. You can move a mountain, you can break rocks You can be a master, don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you gon' find yourself What's going on guys? So here we have another episode of Diamond Dynasty. As you can see, I decided to move Kendris Morales up to the beginning of life. You guys are going to want to watch this game because it's an absolutely epic game. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but I think you guys will really enjoy the finish of this game. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit because someone was asking me. They said TD because I am Canadian. I don't know. A lot of you guys probably know that. I'm not sure if all of you guys do. I am Canadian. I'm, I'm a football player in university right now. Uh, but I want to tell you guys about what baseball is like in Canada. And I want to know from you guys in the comments how it's different than it is in the US. So in Canada, we don't have high school baseball teams. We have none. I I never played on a high school baseball team. Whenever I talk to like my the guys in the mic from the US, they always say like, oh, my high school team has baseball. We do not have high school baseball here at all, especially where I'm from. Uh, baseball is kind of big, but it's not as big as it is in uh, British Columbia and stuff. So we have a bunch of just leagues that are all like officially like totally away from the high school and there's a double a and triple a and then mid to triple a is the highest and we play all across all across the province so that's kind of what how it's run and i'm going to talk a little bit about how competitive it is so i think a lot of people assume uh that just because we're canadian that we're not good at baseball and you'd be moderately right we're not as good as you guys at baseball i wouldn't say we're bad and we definitely have players that can play with you guys it's just we don't get the same opportunities in the states as you guys do um, just because you, we have to play international fees so if you're bringing a Canadian if you have a Canadian and American who are just as good to go play D1 baseball or like they're gonna automatically take the American because it's a lot cheaper like you don't have to pay nearly as much like I played against I'm gonna tell you a story about I played against this MLB draft pick I don't know if he's still in the other place. his name is Chris Shaw he got drafted to the Brewers I think I'm not sure if he's still doing anything but there's this one team they had two MLB draft picks back to back three four in the lineup, and I was pitching they were both 18 19 and I was 15 years old I was the youngest guy in the league at that point like and all my my fastball was not very fast at the time I think I was like I'm like six three and a bit now I think at that point I was maybe 5'9", maybe 5'10", if I was lucky, and my fastball was not all that, like, I didn't have a lot of velocity, but I remember when I was younger, me and my friend, we developed a curveball in the backyard of his house, and I just started throwing this curveball super weird and, like, greasy. It was the weirdest thing, and I remember the first time, well, before this batter, we were playing in a tournament, and my first time pitching in all year in midget, I got a home run hit off me the first pitch my <laughs> the catcher showed me curveball and I shook him off I was like no here let me throw a fastball boom like a 330 foot home run so as the season progressed I just started chucking curveballs like crazy and I realized that this is my pitch so that's why now that I'm like now that I've switched positions over to receiver uh, here at the university uh, I now I can I want to start pitching again so I'm facing this guy his name is Chris Shaw. He's huge. He's massive. He's got muscle tone. I had no muscle tone. I was just a like a stick up there on the mound. I was scared. My baby face was even worse than it is now. If you guys, if that's even possible, I don't know if you guys even believe that that's possible, but it is. I did have a bigger baby face then, and I just threw him. The first pitch I threw him a fastball as a ball, and then I gave him three straight 12-6 curveballs and struck him out, and it was one of the best memories of my life because I remember his face after the last curveball was just he just looked at me. And he was like, what was that? Because I slowed down my velocity so much. Like, I'd take it from, I don't, I have no idea how much, how hard I was throwing, but I'd say at least 20 miles per hour slower on my curveball. And it was just a looping curve. Like, it would start up and then drop, like, a, a ton of distance. And I struck this guy out. It was a great feeling. Like, I really, really miss pitching. That's why in the show, oh, wait a minute. Kendris Morales, let me give that guy a shout out real quick. So I was down to nothing in this game. I'm gonna talk about the game a little bit. I'm done talking about Canadian baseball. I just wanna hear about what baseball is like in the US. So make sure to let me know in the comments and make sure to like this video too if you guys are enjoying it so far. So he there, he, he was up to nothing at one point. He had me, he had me to nothing. Now it is four to two. I managed to get some run support. And I think this year, Kendris Morales, that batting stance and stuff is the most perfect thing I've ever seen. And I'm about to create my created player. I have not done it yet. I haven't created my the show created player. I'm about to do that right after I make this video. And there'll be a video with him in his debut. And I am very excited. I'm definitely giving him the Morales batting stance. Or the Denard Span batting stance. He's got a nice batting stance here. So here in the top of inning number 9, Chris Bryant hits a hard ground ball the first. He does not double me up, however. But I don't really manage to get anything done. Ben Zobrist who had put it to pinch hit for the pitcher. 
he ends up flying out. So we are going in to the bottom of inning number nine. And I'm, at this point, I'm a little nervous because I know this guy's got a good bat. First pitch, grounds out to second. I throw onto first to get the out. So at that point, I'm like, you know what? I think I got this guy. Bottom of the ninth, but then he hits a nice little high looper. And I know he's starting to get on to this guy. I know he's seeing the ball well because this was not a bad opponent. And then he gets a base hit up the middle. And that, my, ugh, my heart almost stopped. So I got to get clutch here. I got to find a pitch that I can get him out. Two out. Brian McCann, hit the home run. And we strike him out with a high fastball. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you don't already follow me at Instagram on Instagram, be sure to go do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see all you guys next video.